know we just finished is. kissing. Now I said it. That song. The way no. Anne said, "Kiss me." Now, what did you think? You thought I went to about that song. But too. let me tell you why I love that song. Yes. Um, if if you, if, I think it's "Kiss Me Now" because tomorrow I might be gone, mm -hmm. and even if I'm there tomorrow, I won't taste the same way I taste now. Mm -hmm. If you apply such an ideology on most of the things we do in life, mm -hmm. uh, you will live a very you happy life. Because you just, moment. you just don't know. Because even if you know how they usually say tomorrow never comes. Mm -hmm. Okay, what if tomorrow came? Will you really have this very same moment you have now? We, we, will I, will I be feeling like this? Mm -hmm. When you think about life like that, you eat life, my friend. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you eat life and go like, what? Why? How come? What she's always enjoying? Because you're seizing the moment. Mm -hmm. You can't count on having fun next week when you go to Bahamas on holiday. Start mm -hmm. now. Okay. I like that. I like that. Speaking of if tomorrow never comes, you were reported as uh, you had gone on. You had you know, left us. In the yeah. Nah, hmm. Okay, first there's first a story they of you me, collapsed. First stage. they killed me. Mm -hmm. the, uh, collapsing is normal. Okay. That one that actually happened. did collapse. Okay, yes. I was overwhelmed. Okay. It was in Zimbabwe. Mm -hmm. And you know the economy in Zim is not very exciting. Yes. They are doing badly, but then for them they are special. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So when I got there, I didn't think I would have an audience. Mm -hmm. I was like, hey, my ninja is to come. The tickets were expensive. Mm -hmm. But I think I understood the levels of stress that were in Zim at that time. Okay. Because anyone that had money on Zim paid it to come and laugh. Mm -hmm. Everyone wanted to forget their problems. Yes. So the venue, there were over 5,000 people that showed up to see me, not to receive Jesus Christ as their pastor. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> to see can see me, just perform me. Mm -hmm. What I perform, I can't even tell it to you. I stand in front of my ninjas and the madness that I exhume, I can't explain where it comes from. So I was overwhelmed. And the whole day, because I was nervous, I wasn't eating. So I took juice, uh -huh. I, took, I took yogurt, just liquid, liquid, because my tummy was chasing food. Mm -hmm. So I think after performance, and I the one who performs like a grasshopper in Kasana, <laughs> I jump from this. I use the whole stage, all the corners of the stage. So by the time I was dancing. done, when I said, okay, bye, I think my body says, I think we are done. Okay. All right. And then after yeah. that, you said that. Then they said they killed me from Johannesburg. Recently, yeah. I had two cages of cocaine. My friend, I'm famous. Thank People you. can sit down and write story. Tips. As soon as I said, I'm like, this is not possible. It wasn't. Because was just. A day before, not even a day, I was, I had just gone live with my husband mm -hmm. on Valentine's showing off how we have each other, what, what. <laughs> and then the sudden I'm in London with two kilograms of cocaine. Like Someone how? told me if I got those ones, I retire. But if I sell those ones, the money that comes out of that, I don't just need to Two kilograms like Two cages! Uh -huh. Well, people write. And it's yeah. worse now, because social media, <laughs> people write. There's no one as dangerous as an idle person with bundle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. And it has internet. Those are the most dangerous human beings we have in Kampala. Yeah, Even true. in the rest of the world. Because they are so idle. And then because and their so heads are there. Because it's, you know. You know. Mm -hmm. You know you can look tall. On social media. You, you can, can people think I'm picture. looking tall. Mm -hmm. Just that now we've done this on video. So they will know the truth. But <laughs> I sound like you uh, are mm -hmm. your height. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No comment. No comment. <laughs> no comment. Mm -hmm. No, you said earlier on that. You never thought you'd be a comedian. You know, you wanted to be a musician. Me, I wanted to perform. So, how did you fall into comedy? How oh, comedy found me really? Because mm -hmm. when I was at campus, I used to be at the department a lot. So I, I there was a lady called a scene with Dewa, mm -hmm. who was managing a recording at Rock Point. But Rock Point is like a radio drama. Mm -hmm. So took me there, I got there and ended up doing about four characters. I do kids' voices so well. Mm -hmm. I used to love doing adverts. Now you people no longer call me here. Actually, this is my opportunity. I think people think you're expensive now. Hey, yeah. assumption is the mother of all problems. Mm -hmm. So stop assuming and call me and let me make that small money you <laughs> fake theory to give me. Anyway, so I used to do radio drama as, as, a, as acting as a mother, a daughter, a brother, and a teenage girl in one episode. Like in I would one change, episode? yes. I would be like, I would be like, mm, something like, mm, um, I can see me. You were supposed to go to school, but you did not go to school. I'm like, are you sure? No, you were supposed to go to school, and even the books you were using were not the ones you were supposed to use. But mommy, me, I was the one who had the books, and then this one said that she's going to take them. No, you said you are not going. So it ends up. So what we do is record voices differently, uh -huh. separately, mm -hmm. and I would end up being anything that I want to be. I would be a teenage girl. I would be a girl. I would be a mother who's very rude. I would be anything. Mm -hmm. So I ended up 
So based on that, you can you Then I met Bujingo Huntington, Gerard Ritaro, from Bisharwanga. They were already in uh, the National Theatre with Philip Luswata in mm -hmm. Theatre Factory. Mm -hmm. So they were doing a play called The Nasty Good Story. And they called me and Kathy Bagaya then, I think we went there together, to try out in the play. Uh -huh. When we finished the play, mm -hmm. they called us to rehearse on their weekly shows, and the rest is history. I've been, I've been there every week, even last week, mm -hmm. even this week. Yes. I've been there every week. That's one of the things I've seen. Even though you travel a lot, but you're still mm -hmm. very much on You the don't know those people. If you know them, you can't stay away from them. You can. Mm -hmm. They're your family. They will tell you the truth. If you're threatening to bleach on this side of yours, is like, yeah? mm -hmm. they'll be the first one to tell you. If you accent, if you go to Canada for two days, and then you come back and your accent has changed, they will be the first ones. They'll be like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. remove that air. It's not there. That air you put is not there. <laughs> so they keep you grounded. No matter what you need, where you've been, you come back home and they're like, I don't know. Meanwhile, I need to be these things you are posting. Eh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Actually, one of the questions that was put to me mm -hmm. from asking was how you stay grounded, how you stay so real. I'm surrounded by real people, my friend. Mm -hmm. Surrounded by real people. I wish I, I didn't fear being mugged by my lovers downtown. I'd still be shopping downtown. Mm -hmm. I still get things that come from there just that they get someone to say. Mm -hmm. I, you <laughs> ah, if you come from where I come from, you can't not be grounded. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, now I'm going to ask you for your next request, which is a local song. Local song, let's do uh, Eddie Kenzo. Joe Birette, Mana Mwala, come, let's go. It's so nice. That's what I give you. Actually, someone said to me the other day, and you, know, you know, Eddie Kenzo is talented, but after listening to the song, it's like another level. Do you know why Eddie Kenzo is talented in this song? He's not trying to sing. Even when he's, he's just, he's like, he's talking. He, I know, I know you're going to enjoy this. And then he killed it by starting with a chizino. The beat starts with chizino. Okay, here it is. <laughs> it depends on you have me. <laughs> Jubilation. Good for you. <laughs> I want to leave it on. I want first to jump on the katas. Woo! Are you ready for this? Come on. Hey. Come on. Hey. Hey. Come on. Hey. Come on. hey. Let's <laughs> see, you see how the beat keeps coming up. Eh? Yeah, you know,